In this video segment, we'll look at creating a roof with curved or flared eaves at the edge. Let's demonstrate the process on this sample gable roof. In the section view, I've identified where I want the roof to begin the flare. I'm going to begin by creating a gull wing style roof and let the program generate a two pitch roof at this desired target point. In the floor plan, I'm going to select the two opposite walls of the gable. I'm going to hold my shift key down with both of the walls selected. I'm going to come down and open up the properties for those walls. On the roof panel, I will mark the option for an upper pitch. The upper pitch should be 12 and 12, while the lower pitch will be at 6 and 12. There are two options to position where the transition for the pitch takes place, either at the height or in from baseline. I'll use 6 inches in from baseline. You can see where I have that baseline indicated and when you take a look at the graphic that I have up on the screen here, you can see where the baseline is above the plate and where the rafter or the truss meets the top of the roof edge. In the section view, you can see where the goal wing has now been created right at the target point for the curve or the flare. This goal wing roof was created automatically by the program. Before I curve the end roof planes, I want to verify the upper pitch in degrees so that the two roof planes, when they get curved and meet the straight roof plane, meet exactly. The easiest way to do that is to double click and open up the main roof plane. You can change the roof pitch in degrees. This 12 and 12 pitch is at 45 degrees. That's pretty easy. Then what I'm going to do is select the two end roof planes, go ahead and open them up. I'm going to mark that they are curved and then at the ridge we'll go ahead and put in 45 degrees. When I close this the program is going to prompt us to turn off the automatic rebuild of roofs. So once I do that the two end roof planes will get curved and as you kind of zoom in and you take a look the target for where the flare and the curve occurs and we have a nice smooth transition between the straight roof plane and the curved roof plane. That wraps up this video on curved roof eaves. To learn more please see our built-in help as well as our support articles. Thanks for watching.